Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hey guys, what's up? Review Man here, and today I am reviewing this brand new movie that came out last night. Um, it was on, it, was, it premiered on Nickelodeon. Yeah, I still watch Nickelodeon, so, so what? This one, this movie is a, uh, called Legends of the Hidden Temple, and it's based upon the TV show from, I think it was that late 80s, late 80s, early 90s game show called Legends of the Hidden Temple. In this movie, you got three, you got three brothers, you got a whole family, you got mom, dad, you got a brother named Noah, a brother named Dudley, and a sister named Sadie, who is the big sister and preferably known to as Sadie the sister. Uh, Sadie the sitter because she always has to watch out for her little brothers like any big sister does and so what she does um, the mom and dad they all go to this they all go to this theme park based upon Legends of the Hidden Temple and everything in, and at the beginning of the movie the the mom and dad they go off to this spa thing to this little spa and have the three kids watch after each other. Yeah, that's good freaking parenting. Really good parenting. Really freaking good. And yeah, that's really good parenting. And so the movie starts out with um, Noah. He's believing that the legend of the hidden temple is real. And Sadie is like, oh, no, it ain't real. Dud Dudley, he doesn't care. He's just along for the ride. He's young enough. He's the youngest brother. He's. He still got that innocence, and so what they do is they go to a um, Dudley, Noah, and Sadie. They all go to the this um, little show um, brought on by Kurt Kurt Fogg. Who, if you've seen the original show, he was the guide telling everybody about how to complete the puzzles, how to get through the temple, how to do all this stuff. And so what he does is um. Everybody's like, oh man, this is lame, this is lame. He loses everybody. And he throws out these medallions, or these pendants, if you will. And the pendants is, is what's supposed to be, um, it was supposed to be grant you access throughout the entire temple as part of the temple key. And so, um, nobody's believing him. And Noah goes up to Kirk and he says, I believe the legends are real. And no, and Kirk says, "Yeah, me too." I uh, um, and so he gets the medallion, and Kirk, uh, Noah said, "What they do is they trespass through this um, as they find a way to get into the temple by truck going over this per restricted area gate." And so what they do is, er, said he's like, "Are you crazy? When I supposed to be back here?" And then they're they're all standing on top of this trap door. Noah, he um, he has his safety backpack, which has like everything they need throughout. Um, like got a helmet, got a, got all this stuff, and so yeah. Um, I want to just pause this bit. Um, pause right here a second. If you haven't seen the Legends of the Hidden Temple, I did a review of the entire TV show. Um, link is below. And go check it out real quick and then come back because I'm going to be referencing a bunch of the TV show as it's. As they basically did like an entire uh, hour and a half to two hour movie based upon the TV show. So go check it out. Just go check it out. Just pause this video right here. Go check it out. I'll be here when you get back. Okay, you're back. Okay. And so what. They go into the temple. They see Omeg or King Omeg. Omeg was the guy from the TV show that told the players about the temple and all this other stuff, and the different challenges they would have to face and all this stuff. And so Omeg tells a story about how he was once the king of the temple, and he his um two sons named. Um, Dak and Zuma, and that if they go and if they go if they start in the temple, they would have three minutes when they find the medallion to get back here and put the medallion in, um, put the medallion, 
get the medallion to Olmec, and or else they'll be trapped there forever. And then they're like, oh, okay, we can do that. And so, um, so they go to the first, they start down the, they start down the stairs of knowledge. And um, the stairs of knowledge, if you seen, if you went back and watched my review of the show, the stairs of knowledge were these, um, were these stairs that once Olmec told them the story, they would have to answer questions. And Olmec tells them, as Olmec um, tells, is telling them the story, he's telling them that he sacrificed. Oh shoot! I'm giving you. I'm jumping ahead myself. And Omega tells him that he sacrificed himself that Oh shoot, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Stop, Josh. And so Dudley, uh, Noah and Sadie, they're all making their way through the temple. Um room by room, they've come upon the temple guards, which is um where where the first piece of the medallion is. And Omega tells them that if you walk with the animals in the clouds You'll get to the temp you'll get to the temple room. You'll get to the um, treasure room, and then they're like, "Okay, let's see, let's see that. six minutes." Okay, and then Omega tells them that if they walk with the if they walk with the cut, and he's telling them all this story, and each part of the story that he's telling them is a hint to a room in the in the temple, and so what they do is they. Go to this first room where they have to swing on a vine to get they get across to um to get across to this other door. And so what they do is they go they go across, they fall in the pit, unleashing this red red jaguar. And so what they do is they climb back they climb back up and then they climb back up to escape the red jaguar because Noah's dad always tells him you always you always leap before you always look before you leap. And so what they do is they escape the red jaguar, climb up, go to the next room. The next room has they climb up to this rock. They gotta pivot their way, going back and forth and back and forth and go and then they get into the next room which has the temple guards. The temple guards uh, hold a piece of the medallion that they need to really unlike, give to Olmec. And so what they do is they get the medallion that unleashes the temple guards, uh, wakes them up, and one of the temple guards is named is Dak, T H A K, and he's basically Olmec's evil son. <clears throat> and the two parts of the medallion. That they got the two parts of the pendant represents Omega's good side and Omega's bad side. Omega's bad side is represented in Dak. And so, yeah. Louis going on. They're fighting and trying to escape the trying to escape the guards. They escape the guards and go into the jungle. And um which they're actually still in the temple, but they're in the jungle part of the temple. And so what they gotta do is they gotta go across this lake and st we're still fighting off um still fighting off the bad guys they're doing <clears throat> they're they're trying to fight against uh, a blue blue barracudas which is which is actually taking out the bad guys one by one and so um while they're go while they're actually going through the woods too part of um part of Dudley's shirt gets hooked on the uh, um Gets hooked onto this vine, leap vine thing, and so they just keep on going. They go into the temple. They go into Medusa's room, and Medusa, she, um, what they, what Dudley and Sadie have to do is they have to wrestle snakes and throw them into onto the Medusa statue, so that all the snakes can. Um, so once Medusa gets her hair back, which is actually the snakes. She can um, the final snake can give them the key, and so what they do is they go through fight all the snakes, throw them on the Medusa's hair, spit out the key, and then they go into the next room, which is actually the shrine of the silver monkey. And if you remember, if you ever seen, if you remember from my review, they 
the Shrine of the Silver Monkey gives people the most time, a hard, hard time because they have to they have to um, put the shrine together part by part. This takes them about four hours. At this time, outside the temple, at this time outside the temple, the mom and dad um, are trying to are trying to find the um, trying to find the kids. And what they do is they bring in the cops. What they do is they bring in the cops. And the cops are trying to find a way inside the temple by using jackhammers and all this other stuff. And Kurt Pines is telling them, Kurt Fogg is, I don't know why I want to keep saying Kurt Pines. Kurt Fogg is telling them that they can't get inside the temple only once the medallion is released would they have, um, could they get, could they get the kids outside the temple. And so the kids, um, the kids are taking about four hours and while all this is going on, the next morning they, they fall asleep inside the temple at the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. And while all this is going on, the police call in the bomb squad and the bomb squad is setting this, is setting this, um, is setting this bomb up to blow up the temple. And they're saying, God, I hope your kids not are inside it, aren't at the door. And Kurt Fogg is, um, he's knowing that this isn't going to work because the temple is that heavily guarded by magic. And Omeg tells the kids at the beginning, once they start their adventure, that they have, th once they receive both pieces of the, of the medallion, that they would have three minutes to get back to the temple, to the temple door and put the um, medallion back inside the um, back inside give, give, it the, give it the medallion to Olmec and so what they do is they figure out that the um, the silver monkey shrine hasn't was just turned around wrong and so what they do is they once they figure that out actually Dudley figures that out once they figure once Dudley figures that out he oh yeah and all through this movie they're being accompanied by this green monkey cool green monkey and what they do is the next is the treasure room because next is the treasure room and while all this is going on you got the temple guard back he's tracking the kids down by all the clues and all this rooms that they've been in already <sighs> yeah I just gotta say this is this was a decent movie for what it was but I'm not done with it yet I'm not done with the review so anyway while they're doing that, they go into the temple. They go into the last, the treasure room, and um, they cross the, they cross this little moat that they have to, that they have to match up the monk, that they have to match up the animals that they've seen throughout the entire, um, the entire temple, like the blue, like the blue barracuda, the orange iguana, the red uh, jaguar. There was even a blue parrot or blue picar in the green monkey. And so what they have to do is they have to jump across the boat um, with, the, with the animals that they've seen throughout the, entire, um, th throughout the entire temple. And so they get to the other side. They, they've, um, they get to the other side. And so what they do is they get the medallion piece. That, un that wakes up Zuma. And what? And lo and behold, the minute that they tell Zuma that they're here to help, their, they were sent by Omeg to help them. Uh, who comes in but Zack? And he says, and and Zack says, "Give me the, give me the medallion, give me the medallion." And so what they do is, he just um um. Noah, he takes the fake medallion that Kurt P Fogg gave him at the beginning of the um, at the beginning of the movie. He takes that medallion, drops it in, was about to drop it into the was about to drop it into the thing. And so, what that does is he grabs Sadie, Noah's sister, and was is going to drop her into the thing if he, um, Noah doesn't give him the medallion. And, but Noah has a plan that that uh, dropped the fake medallion in there. Because um, 
But what he does is he gives the medallion to Dak. And Dak, he's starting to do this whole job, blah, 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 this whole ancient curse thing about how to bring the medallion's powers back. And so, he figures out that it's the fake medallion. And what, so what Noah does is he suits up, he puts the helmet on, he puts the pads on and all this other stuff, runs back to the temple while Zuma, Dudley, and Sadie, and also the green monkey, that while they're all fighting off um, the temple guards, he's running back to the, he's running back to the beginning because he only has three minutes to get back to it. And lo and behold, what's the timer set on on the bomb? But three minutes. And so, um, he's running back. Dak is tracking him back. And Dak thinks he has him trapped off. He has him trapped. But what he does is he throws a spear at Noah. The spear lands in the ground like that at an angle, giving Noah the perfect opportunity to run up. And he's like, This isn't a game, boy. Give me that medallion. Or something like that. And so what he says is, he's like, You know what, Daddy? You're right. Uh, look before you leap. And so what he does is he runs up the, up the spear. And so and he's grabbed onto the ledge. He grabs onto the ledge, and Dak, he jumps up and grabs him. And so what Noah does is he, is he um, unhooks the backpack. Uh, Dak gets dropped into the pit where the um, Red, Jaguar, or Red Jaguar was. And he jumps into the pit where the Red Jaguar was, and... Um, Noah, he goes running back, just makes it in time for to put the pendant back in, back um, get the pen, that the pendant back to um back to Omeg. and so yeah, um, then just in time for the bomb to go off, Omeg's magic powers um, stops the bomb and just, just stops the bomb altogether. And so what Omeg does is he says. I'm going to give my son the throne, but you know her, you have to you have to make him the king because you gave me the pendant back. And I the Omeg said I made the ultimate sacrifice to to um I made the ultimate sacrifice of my people that I'm going to make my son Zuma the king. And so what he gives Zuma the um he puts the pendant back on Zuma, yeah, on Zuma, and Zuma's like, you, you're always welcome here. And so what they do is they leave the temple. Dudley, the monkey, Sadie, and Noah, they all leave the temple, and everybody, everybody's safe. And um, Kurt Fogg is very happy because he he knew they would save the entire civilization in the first place. Because, yeah. And at the end of the movie, the um, they all, everybody makes up. They're all one big happy family. Kurt Fogg, he goes into the temple, and he's exploring all the temple. And um, the bomb guy, he gives the um, he gives the kids three tickets to space camp because some to make up for almost blowing up the temple. He gives three uh, he gives them three tickets to space camp. And uh, Sadie said, um, they asked Sadie, what do you want to come back for a vacation next year? What do you want to come for a vacation next year? Sadie says, I want to come back here. And then they're all like, here? And then she's like, yeah, there's still much um, temple to be explored. And Noah was right, the legends are real. Legends of the Hen Temple are real. And so there you have it. Um, legends of the Hen Temple. This was a good movie, but I would say that the show that it was based on was a whole lot better. So yeah, anyway guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. I will see y'all guys in the next video. And it's about 1940, so I will see y'all guys in the next video. Peace out.